Vic McPherson. Hi, Vic. It's Claire. So, how are things going in Los Angeles? Hey, Claire. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm making any headway. I'm having a hard time establishing a link between all these killings. You're obsessing over this. If you hadn't quit, you wouldn't be trying to put the pieces together all alone. Don't start, Claire. I know you don't approve of my decision to leave the FBI. But working for an asshole like Browning? No thank you. Browning won't be here forever, you know. His decision to close the investigation after the mass killer's death wasn't welcomed by everyone in the Chicago Bureau. I don't need to remind you that there's absolutely nothing to prove that the fucker's really dead. He fell in the water when I shot him. I know I hit him. As far as I've heard, his body was never found. No, you're right about that. Of course you've got doubts. The water flowing under the Tominova Bridge is ice cold. If your bullet didn't kill him, cold water would have finished him off. <laughs> I'd love to be so sure. When I think of all the women he victimized. Have you found any information on the first killer? The one who the Chicago murderer was supposedly copycatting? His name was Ackerman, I think? Yeah, Mark Ackerman. Son of Governor Herbert Ackerman. He was locked up in an asylum at the beginning of the 30s after two strings of murders. He was never officially found guilty. His father had him hospitalized to avoid the scandal. With the FBI's full cooperation. Corruption never goes out of style. Makes me sick. And the retired inspector, Harrison. The one you wanted to see in California. Did you meet with him? Yeah. He gave me the whole case file for the 1956 investigation. He's convinced that Mark Ackerman was behind this series of murders in Los Angeles. Really? A killer who murders women over several decades, then a copycat who starts it all over again 50 years later? That's terrifying. Yeah, but this case is personal, too. My grandfather got himself embroiled, and he lost more than just his illusions. I think that they made him a suspect. I want to find the truth for his sake, no matter what it costs me. I hope you'll find what you're looking for, Vic. If I can help you in any way. Do you have any news on Mia, the killer's latest victim? Is she still in the hospital? She's doing better. She's come out of shock. The doctors are optimistic. She should be able to go home soon. I went by to see her yesterday. She's gonna leave Chicago. Too many bad memories. What's new at the FBI? Miller's still having stomach trouble? Uh-huh. He got sick at the New Year's potluck. Some joker put Tabasco in his salmon canapes. We haven't seen Browning much lately. He's distanced himself from the Bureau since your resignation. It doesn't change much anyway. He was never exactly close to his agents. Yeah, you can say that again. The only place for an ice cube like that is in a glass of whiskey. I hope Richard's not harassing you. He's left several messages on my answering machine. He just called me to ask about Mia. He feels responsible for letting her go the killer is opening. I know, he's taking it hard. There's nothing to say that the killer wouldn't have taken him out to get his hands on Mia. Anyway, he misses you, that's for sure. He's looking forward to you coming back. I have one last favor to ask, Claire. A big one. I need access to the FBI's database. For your research, huh? Wow, I'm playing fast and loose with the rules a lot lately. I don't want to get you into trouble. Don't worry about me. The access code was changed a few days ago. I'll check it out and text you, okay? Thanks, Claire. I'll let you go now. Talk to you soon. Herbert Ackerman, an art lover? Hmm. And this Beatrice Allen? I must find out more about her. Beatrice Allen is the woman painted by Ackerman on one of his paintings. I'm sure of that. I need more info. Her son may be another interesting lead to follow, but I'd need his full name. The file was destroyed in the 30s because of the deal the FBI made with Herbert Ackerman. Just think, it was the era of the untouchables. A son named Richard. Shit, that can't be true. This can't be a coincidence. I'm not here at the moment, but you can leave a message. Jesus Christ, 
Richard, if you're that nurse's grandson, why didn't you ever tell me? I have to get back to Chicago right away and get to the bottom of this. Hello? Vic, it's me. Is this a bad time? Claire, I fell asleep in front of the TV. What time is it? Almost 10 p.m. Sorry to wake you. Do you want me to call you back tomorrow? No, no. I was having a nightmare anyway. As soon as I fall asleep, I relive the same old stories. Still having nightmares about the Chicago killer? Vic, you have to stop thinking about all that. It happened almost four years ago. Tell that to my subconscious. Were you calling me about the case? I have the results of Ellen Dunnigan's preliminary autopsy. Let me guess. The killer left no trace. Absolutely nothing. The body was carefully cleaned of any clue that could have led us to the killer. The modus operandi seems identical to the other victims. Various wounds meant to inflict pain, then a bullet wound causing death. Good lord. It's been going on for almost three years and this asshole still hasn't made a single mistake. Are you going to be in Maine for a while? I still have to question a few possible witnesses. Garris wants this by the book, but I doubt it'll turn up anything. Oh, yes, your new partner. Fresh out of Quantico. I gotta go, Claire. Hernandez is up to her old tricks on the news again. Okay. I'll call you if I have anything new. Take care of yourself. The horribly tortured body of Ellen Dunnigan was found this morning. The body was discovered on the side of Route 201, less than a mile outside of the small town of Jackman, Maine. The young woman, a Holton native, had disappeared on September 22nd. The modus operandi removes any ambiguity over the killer's identity. This is without a doubt the latest chapter in the heinous rampage of the East Coast killer. As with the previous murders, the killer filmed the suffering which he inflicted on his victim. He then sent DVDs of the footage to the authorities and the media. The FBI has refused any comment in the wake of this new crime. Special Agent McPherson, who has been on the case from the beginning, seems completely incapable of making any headway whatsoever in this case. How many innocent victims will have to die before the killer is stopped? It's a legitimate question, given the investigator's utter lack of results. This is Paloma Hernandez for 5TV. So... Just like that, I'm completely overwhelmed. What a bitch. McPherson. This is Paloma Hernandez. Do you remember me, Agent McPherson? Unfortunately, yes. I just saw your mug on TV. One doesn't forget that kind of trauma. Very funny. Listen, I know you don't like my work, but I don't have anything against you personally. I also have people to answer to, and the competition is fierce. Aw, oh, you're breaking my heart, Hernandez. Switch careers. The FBI is hiring. I'm not calling to apologize. I have a proposal for you. Can you meet me at the Bishop Motel in Jackman for a chat? Right. You want me to join your TV games? I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline your offer. I'm in touch with an informant. He has discovered certain information about the killer. I'm ready to divulge it if you agree to give me exclusive access to the FBI investigation. That way, we'd be working together instead of being at loggerheads. What do you say? Are you serious? You've been making my life hell since this case started, but now you want us to be best friends forever because suddenly it suits your purposes? If you got information on the killer, then give it to me. No conditions. If you conceal evidence or hinder our investigation in any way, I can guarantee you a stint in the slammer. Night, Hernandez. I hate being hung up on. Vic McPherson, please leave a message after the beep.
End of recording. To hear your message again, please press pound. My next film is finally awake. Welcome to my humble abode, Miss Hernandez. You must feel a little lost. Don't worry. I'm going to take good care of you. Please. I'm begging you. Let me go. I won't tell anyone what's happened. You're right about that hot stuff. I went to a lot of trouble to get you here, and now you'd like me to give up all my lovely plans? You know me well enough to know that I take everything to its proper finish, and sometimes even a little beyond that. Do you recognize this place? This is where the actresses immortalized in my videos made their debuts and bid their adieus. I love this room. It holds so many delicious memories. Well, <laughs> for me at least. Listen, I don't know what you intend to do. Maybe we can make a deal? I doubt that. I want to do away with those who are tracking me. Their interference doesn't amuse me anymore. You are one of those people, Hernandez. You're the one who dubbed me the East Coast Killer. It's time you understand what really lies behind those meaningless words. I know who your informant is. The former FBI agent, James Hawker. He's going to die, just like you. Of course. I'll be much quicker with him. He doesn't have your charm. I have to leave you for the moment. I have a few things to arrange to take care of your friend Hawker. See you very soon, gorgeous. Don't panic. I have to get out of here or find a way to call for help. This sicko's put up cameras everywhere. It's high, but I should be able to get out through there. My purse. Empty, of course. Receipts issued by a gas station in St. George, Quebec?
right, Garrus, what we got? Tire tracks have been found nearby. They're being tested. The juiciest clue is the message on the answering machine. The door to the room wasn't forced, unlike the bathroom door. There's something different this time around. The killer went after Hernandez. She's connected to the case. It's not a coincidence. Here's the report you requested. It summarizes the main points of the investigation as well as the psychological profile you established. Thanks, Garrus. All right, let's get to work. We have to gather as many clues as possible. There was coffee spilled on the carpet. There's a clear footprint. Answer, McPherson. Good God, answer! McPherson here. Help! Help me! The killers abducted me! Is that you, Hernandez? Calm down. Take a deep breath. Where are you? I've no idea. He's locked me up in an old house somewhere deep in the woods. He's going to kill me! He said he was after you too, McPherson. And Hawker! But what about you? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, my God. I can hear him. He's coming back. What do I do? Hernandez, give me some clues about the place you're being held. I found an old burnt flyer for a store in Holton. Holton? That's the Arista County capital. Anything else? I found a receipt. It's from a gas station in St. George. St. George? Isn't that in Quebec? Okay, Hernandez. That could help us. What else? I saw some letters on a railway tie. The initials B A R. Those initials must refer to a railroad company. That's an excellent clue. Try to give me some clues. The more precise you are, the quicker we'll be able to find you. Let me think. There's a car outside? Hello? What's going on? Hello? Hernandez? This remote control fell under the bed. There might be intact prints on it. These look like clothing fibers. Tell us your theory. It's quite different from the leads the FBI are currently chasing. The East Coast killer doesn't act on sudden impulse, which is what the case profiler contends. I've discovered the basis on which he chooses his victims. Criteria linked to one of his obsessions. James Hawker. He hasn't given up on the case. Isn't that your old partner? Find Hawker for me, Garris, and get me his file. At your service, Agent McPherson. Do you need anything? James Hawker. Wasn't he dismissed from the FBI for having shot a witness? It was a suspect. It's a fine line between the two sometimes. Whichever it was, Hawker lost his head and killed a man who did not present an immediate threat. It's inexcusable. Is that why you refused to take a new partner into the field for almost two years? Uh, I mean, I would have probably done the same thing in your place. You're too curious, Garrus. Focus your brain cells on what happened in this room. Well, let the search continue. Time's not on our side. McPherson here. Help! Help me! The killers abducted me! Hernandez, where are you? Are you okay? Oh, my head is spinning. I feel strange. My phone. Must be McPherson. She must be trying to locate me. Ah. Careful. There's glass everywhere. McPherson? Have you located me? Have you figured out where this miserable house is? In a quiet place. Don't worry. We won't be disturbed. You! You won't get away with this. 
I've warned McPherson. The FBI and the police will soon be here. They know exactly where I am. <laughs> the funniest thing is that you seem to believe what you're saying. I have a deal for you. If you manage to get out of here, I'll consider setting you free. I've prepared a few surprises for you on your path to freedom. Just to spice things up a little. Please, let me go. Come on, pull yourself together. Oh, one last thing. While you were unconscious, I injected you with a little dose of poison. You should already be feeling the symptoms. Vertigo, weakness, nausea, and death. Eventually. You better start looking for the antidote. And don't forget, the collar enables me to bring you back to reason. Good luck, gorgeous. I'm feeling better. Congratulations. You have won the right to remain alive. Dora and the number 216. Olivia and the number 60. Joyce, number 33. Janet, 108. That's my first name, and the number 129. Dolores, and the number 71. This fuse box controls the flow of the electricity passing through the electric chair. It's off. I hear an electric buzzing coming from this cupboard. <coughs> These inscriptions, are they here to help me or scare me?
locked. Halloway County Sheriff. I was expecting you. Hi, I'm Agent McPherson. This is Agent Garris. What have you found? No one here. The house is empty. There are a few signs of recent occupation, but if the killer was here, he's gone now. I see. We'll take a look around ourselves, just in case. Do you have the information on the house? Who's the owner? A Howard Peterson. He died more than 20 years ago. Suicide. The house has been abandoned ever since. An old decrepit house in the forest. You'd think we were in a horror movie. My men are searching the forest, looking for a body. I have a few roadblocks set up around the county. I've put in a query on the property to the Holton Land Registry. I'm expecting an answer. I'll keep you posted. I almost forgot. We found a memory card on the kitchen table. It comes from a phone or some such digital gadget. Take it. No sign of Miss Hernandez. Is that good news or bad? At least we located the house quickly, thanks to the info she gave us. The killer had the entire night to act. The fact that he abducted Hernandez instead of killing her on the spot is a good sign. There's a message scribbled on the newspaper. Who's next? Uh, the serial killer's eternal question. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's drugstore in Holton. Do you know the owner? Yeah. There aren't many pharmacies in Holton. It's a small town. If you could contact Wilkinson now and question him. See if he remembers the client. Time is of the essence. The FBI's wish is my command. Show me the receipt. I'll call Dan. Dan? Hi, it's Sheriff Halloway. I'd like some information on a receipt from your store. Okay, good. Thanks for your help. Tell Martha I say hi. Dan remembers a man in his 40s, black hair. He says he seemed nervous, kind of in a rush. It's a bit vague, but it's better than nothing. Thanks for the info. I better call Claire to give her the killer's description. without your favorite coroner. What can I do for you this time? I think I have something new to help ID the killer. A Holton pharmacist vaguely remembers a customer who could very well be our man. About 40 years old, black hair. It's not much, but it will allow me to rule out some suspects. I'll enter it into my database. The local sheriff is causing me hassles. I have the feeling she's trying to undermine my investigation. Is this sheriff's name Halloway, by any chance? Yeah. You've heard of her? An hour ago. I got a phone call from a friend who works in the Portland lab. Sheriff Halloway has requested some tests of the utmost urgency. The sheriff claims she was working on Paloma Hernandez's disappearance. 
My friend called me because she knows that I've been in on the East Coast killer case from the start. Hmm. Huh. I think I should have a few words with the Sheriff. Thanks for the tip. Listen, Sheriff, I want this to be clear. I have proof that you sent samples to be analyzed without my authority. Here, it's the FBI who leads the investigation. If you forget that, or decide to ignore it, I'll break you. Take it easy, Agent McPherson. Sounds like I've touched a nerve. I don't have time to play who's the bitchiest. Believe you me, that is one contest you'll lose. So unless you want to be charged with obstruction of justice, I advise you to tell me what you found. Okay, okay. I took two samples, which I sent to the lab. They're yours. I also found this in the living room. It looks like some kind of electronic key. Very good. I hope I won't have any other occasion to lose my temper with you, Sheriff. We'll leave it at that, Agent McPherson. Found some traces, but nothing too important. I spoke to one of the cops who are searching the forest. He gave me the lowdown on Holloway. The sheriff is on edge. Elections are around the corner and she's not sure she'll be reinstated to her post. So she doesn't appreciate the FBI's arrival in her jurisdiction, stealing the spotlight. Brilliant. We got a creepy house in the woods and a shifty sheriff. Man, I miss Chicago. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found an electronic lock, half dismantled upstairs. Come take a look. Richard? Are you there? Richard? No one. As expected. Richard shouldn't get here for a while. That gives me the time to look around. Stack of handwritten letters. I'll scan the most interesting with my smartphone. Henry Allen is the son of Beatrice and Mark Ackerman. Richard, you are the murderer's grandson. Page taken from Herbert Ackerman's confessions. So it's Richard who borrowed them from Harrison by pretending to be Zarkovic. Zarkovic. God, that's it. I remember where I've seen that name. It was in that email Richard sent me when I was in New Orleans. A bunch of rags. Piece of black cloth. There are traces on it. It's the cape worn by the killer. Richard! Why? You're already here? It's good to see you. Did you have a nice trip? I hope that your stay in Los Angeles was a success. It, you look strange. What's going on? Richard, I know you're Mark Ackerman's grandson. It's true. I found out when my grandmother died a little over two years ago. It was such a... revelation for me. At that point, I'd pretty much given up on my career as an artist to focus on running the gallery. Mark Ackerman's work moved me deeply. But you always said that you only discovered Ackerman's paintings recently. Why lie? Well, because of the art director. After the auction where he bought some of the paintings, he made himself out to be the genius who exhumed a forgotten artist's work. I didn't want to lessen his moment of glory and risk alienating him. The gallery needs funding, you know. I 
found a page of Governor Ackerman's confessions in one of your drawers. Were you the one who went to see Inspector Harrison under the pseudonym Zarkovic? That was an innocent bit of subterfuge. I was going to return the documents. I found a black cape in the closet. It looks remarkably like the one the killer wore. There's still blood on it, in exactly the spot where I wounded him. I don't understand how it could have got here. The murderer must be trying to set me up. By casting suspicion on me, he gets at you. In that case, you won't mind me taking this cape to have the blood tested. I could also have a little look to make sure you don't have any trace of a wound. Come on, come on Vic. Don't you trust me? It's me, Richard. You're Richard. I did trust you. But that's impossible now. Richard, I may have quit the FBI, but I'm still a profiler. My gut tells me I'm not wrong. It's you, Richard. You've committed these horrible murders. My heart can't believe it, but my head knows it's true. You're not saying anything. Why, Richard? Why all this madness, this hatred? I need to understand. Open your eyes, Victoria. Let me show you something. Agent McPherson? Agent McPherson, are you all right? Uh, sorry, Garris. I was uh, thinking of something else. James Hawker is about to arrive. I'm going down to meet him. Can I leave you alone? Are you going to be all right? Everything's fine. I'll be right there. I'm going to leave you alone for a bit. You must have so many things to say to each other. We have a suspect. David Carson. We're making progress, Garris. Amazing. We're gonna stop him. You'll see. You can't evade the FBI forever. Don't say mission accomplished just yet, Garris. You haven't changed, Vic. Neither of you, James. Still working the jeans and sneakers look? I was never into uniforms. I can see that black's still your favorite color, huh? So, you're working the TV angle now. I saw the tape with your interview. I needed cash, that's all. Hernandez offered me a nice stack of bills. Remind me, what am I doing here? We think our murderer is after you. The infamous East Coast killer, as the press calls him, wants you. You must be flattered. And that's why you summoned me here? You could have just set a couple of big guys to keep an eye on my rather luxurious New York apartment. I like to keep you where I can see you. Besides, you know our enemy. That's useful. This whole thing is history. You know how I feel. Let's drop it. I'm going to pay a visit to this charming abode. See you later. Nice shack. A bit morbid, but it's got style. So, James, are you spending your retirement brooding over the past? Not at all. I have a whole new life now. That whole thing is behind me. Really? I heard you were continuing to investigate. And as far as I know, your social schedule is not what you'd call busy. Don't start with me, Vic. Whose fault is it that I'm where I am? You betrayed me. Some learn from their mistakes, James. Doesn't look like that's the case with you. I admit, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have pulled the trigger. But I did it to further the investigation. You sabotaged that by denouncing me. You know perfectly well that I wasn't the one who squealed to internal affairs. If I had, you would have been up for murder charges. All I did was refuse to cover up for you. You went too far, goddammit. Here. I'll profile you. 
You are egocentric, irresponsible, selfish, and paranoid. And you are anal, rigid, authoritarian. And you've got the biggest mouth I've ever had the displeasure to encounter. I could say the same about you. Can we talk? Listen, James, let's stop dwelling on the past. The killer is still out there, and this is our last chance of getting him as a team. Can we bury the hatchet? Paloma Hernandez may still be alive. She's counting on us. Fine. We can't change what's happened anyway. So, this house is supposedly connected to the killer. I'm not surprised. It fits what I've been able to uncover. An isolated area far from the big urban centers. But it means the killer's got to travel to go hunting. I've made a major breakthrough on the killer's psyche. He's totally obsessed with film and cinema, and particularly with the actress Veronica Lake. You could see it in his videos. I'm convinced that he chooses his victims following criteria linked to his obsession. There's evidence in the house that suggests the killer went to film school. That would confirm your hypothesis. It was by catching an old movie again that I made the connection. It has to do with very small background details. That's why we didn't see it before. Well, I have a name. Our suspect's name is supposedly David Carson. Claire's trying to dig up something about him. We'll end up getting him, Vic. After all this time, we're gonna get him. I'm at an impasse with the computer in the cellar. Can you give it a look? You've always been a bit of an IT guru. Okay, show me what the problem is. Let's see. Hmm. The system is well protected. It's impossible to enter without the password. Luckily, the killer is just crazy enough to use a significant password instead of choosing random characters. Uh, of course. Let's try this. Hmm, no. Too simple. Veronica, maybe. Ah, uh, it's not the right password. Yes. Have you found the password? Aquaman. Veronica Lake's real name. The killer's obsessions are the key to his psyche. The contents of the computer are open to you. It's your turn to play now. A list of first names, including mine and Hernandez's. These seem to be the victim's names, but the last names don't match. I bet this is somehow linked to the killer's obsessions. He must associate his victims with fictional characters. I'm not sure I understand. Ellen Graham, Dolores Greaves, they're all roles played by Veronica Lake. In the list you're connected to, the Letty Stanton character. The name doesn't match at all. Different motive. He's after you because he wants to eliminate everyone on his tail. Prior to vanishing, maybe. If that's his plan, I don't have much time to stop him. I'll copy the list into my smartphone. I might need it later. I have to talk to you, Sheriff. There was a video where I could see Hernandez. She's not far, I'm sure of it. We have to get everything we can on the house. As soon as the land registry staff has something, they'll contact me. Have you found anything else on the Anderson case? No. I looked all over the place. I've even used the metal detector. But all I found was a badge under the floor in the entrance hall. Anderson must have explored the house to see if there was anything of value. As far as I recall, he was the curious type. If he ran into the killer, I'm afraid his curiosity might have cost him his life. I have a proposition for you, Agent McPherson. Help me with the Anderson case, and I'll speed things up for you at the land registry. We might as well help each other, rather than trying to trip each other up, right? Huh. <laughs> You're a goddamn opportunist. Okay. Deal. I found Anderson's blood on the balcony upstairs. It's probably several months old. Everything I've seen leads me to believe that our killer murdered Anderson. Sorry, Sheriff. Your county has lost a voter. Well, we know what happened to him. At least I can announce that the case is closed. Hold back your tears. You don't want to get dehydrated. You've kept your part of the bargain, Agent McPherson. Now it's my turn. Yes, it's Sheriff Holloway. I need some information on the house now. Yes, immediately. Are you sure? Okay, keep looking and let me know if you find anything. Well, what do you got? They found something interesting. An anti-nuclear shelter was built under the house in the 50s. And where's the entrance to this shelter? 
they're looking for up-to-date maps. According to their records, two shafts with steel hatches were dug in the ground. Excellent. We're making progress. We just have to find the hatches. I might be able to find the radio station I heard on the recording. Here on WHOZ, enjoy the rest of our weekly country music show. It's the same show. She's alive. Who are you talking about? The reporter? I don't see the connection. It's a live broadcast. So? Oh, drop it. The important thing is that Hernandez is alive. Somewhere. We have to find her before it's too late. Do you have something new? I've managed to open the shelter hatch. I'll go down and try to find Hernandez. I'm going with you. I'll call Garris for backup. Let me show you something. His last masterpiece. It's called... The Betrayal. You've managed to unmask me. It's a shame. I would have liked the game to have gone on a bit longer. Her relationship. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? You had everything planned from the beginning. I didn't plan our meeting. You're the one who contacted me during one of your investigations, remember? When I saw your name on my screen, I thought of Gustav McPherson, of course. Your grandfather, who Mark Ackerman immortalized in his painting. Could it be that you were his descendant? I made some inquiries. And when I knew who you were, I decided to include you in my work. So that's it. All these months you were just pretending? How could I have been so stupid? Vic. Vic. You pretend to be as tough as nails, but really you're... soft. Sentimental. Richard, how could you have become a murderer? True artists must rid themselves of all the inhibitions that limit mere mortals. They must overcome all taboos. My grandfather made me understand this. I have freed myself of mediocrity. I've touched the reality which surrounds us. The brutality, the fear, the suffering. Death. Death has filled a void that I have always felt deep inside of me. This absolute, implacable, its beauty terrifies the weak of spirit. The act of murder, Vic. It's a deeply moving artistic experience. Have you never sensed this? You, you who keeps company with all these victims and murderers? You're completely insane. 
Oh, Victoria, I'm free. While you and everyone like you live your lives like blind larvae, imprisoned by your comforting certitudes. Everything's going as planned. I've got both of you. As for Hawker, I took care of him. There are so many possibilities. So many ways to make you suffer. You and McPherson. I must consider this carefully. One thing's for certain. This game ends with me as the winner. Hawker's hanging by a thread. Well... A rope. I hung him from a tree. Isn't that what you'd expect from a murderer? See you very soon, gorgeous. Asshole! It's screwed shut. McPherson? Can you hear me? Shh! You'll bring her back! Christ! You scared me! I thought that cell was empty. I haven't eaten in days. You don't have anything, do you? Sorry. All I had was a few stale cookies, but I was hungry. Who are you? I thought the killer only went for women. Gary Anderson. I saw the abandoned house while I was out hunting deer. I came in to poke around. The killer took me by surprise while I was snooping upstairs. I tried to escape by going out the balcony, but he caught me. I've been held here for months. He's been torturing me for months. I can't take it anymore. Have you been here a long time? Have you tried to escape? I made an attempt early on. I was locked up where you are. What did you do? I improvised. I used the fork that he left for my meals. I unscrewed the grate on an old air vent. And then what happened? The killer came back right before I made it into the shaft. He convinced me not to try again. Then he threw me in this cell, which is normally reserved for women he's gonna kill. I've been here ever since. In here, the ventilation shaft is welded shut and the cell door can only be opened remotely. I haven't got a chance. Do you still have the thing you used to unscrew the grate? Yeah, I managed to hide it, just in case it might come in handy again. Throw it over. I'll try to catch it. Locked. This digital lock must open the door. McPherson, do you hear me? It's me, Paloma Hernandez. McPherson, wake up! Oh, where am I? Hernandez? Christ, I feel so groggy. We have to get out of here, McPherson. We have to try to escape. Escape? What? Later. I'll think about that later. I noticed a digital locking system. We have to input a code. But what is it? A code? That sort of rings a bell. I found a series of codes in the cellar computer. Do you remember the numbers? I can't concentrate. Hold on. 
I, I entered them in my smartphone. The only complete code that I have is for the hatch. I don't want to open the hatch. I've also got a series of first and last names. On the list, my first name is connected with the name Stanton. Am I on that list? Yes, Paloma. Martin. If Hawker's right, it must be the name of a character played by Veronica Lake. Who's gonna die next? You? Me? Your friend? The killer uses a digital locking system to lock the doors. Have you ever seen him punching in the number from your cell? Yeah. Tons of times. It's five or six numbers. I'm sure that the code for your cell door begins with a four. The last digit, I think it's a five. But I'm not sure about anything else. But what's the point? It's hopeless! McPherson, wake up! I've got to talk to you! Vic Stanton and Paloma Martin. There must be a code link to these names. I'll let you think about it. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. McPherson, wake up! I've got to talk to you! I found you a little upper. Take this. It's up to you now. I don't want to die here. Thanks for pulling me out of there, Hernandez. So, you can make yourself useful, when absolutely necessary. There's a man locked up in the other cell. He was the one who gave me the amphetamines. He says he knew one of the victims, Susan. He might be able to help us, it's just that he seems pretty disturbed. If he's been here for a while, I'm not surprised. So, you're our partner in misfortune. You're the one the killer drugged. Thanks for the pills. Got some of my energy back. I'm gonna try and get you out of here. I've had nothing to eat for days. I'm starving. I might be able to help you out with that. Hey! Where are you going? Wait for me! I'm coming with you! I think you better stay here. Bar the doors. I'll come back to get you. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna see if there's a way out. And there's a computer in the lab. I might be able to make contact with the outside world. All right. I'll keep both doors secured so the killer can't get in. Good. I'll be back. Leave the porch light on. Sicko could be anywhere. Looks like the killer didn't have time to set one of his traps. The indicator shows the line is being jammed. My smartphone, too. Oh, shit. 
The password has changed. Congratulations, McPherson. You are still alive. You are tougher than the others. You're not wasting any time, asshole. Sooner or later, the FBI will get here. Exactly. I have a schedule to keep. Stay where you are, McPherson. I have a bullet with your name on it. He's dead. The world will be a better place without him. I might as well go get Hernandez now. When she's out of danger, I'll try to find Garrus. This is the face of David Carson. Shit! He's the prisoner from the shelter! This asshole pretended to be one of the killer's victims. Oh, and to think I left him downstairs with Hernandez! No one here. Where'd they go? The bastard. He played along so we'd trust him. Wearing Hawker's clothes. Another dirty game to cover his tracks. Garrus, I'm gonna stop this asshole. I promise you that. But then is Hawker still alive?
Carson, leave her alone, asshole. Who is there? McPherson? Are you ready for the show? I need more time. I haven't thanked you, McPherson. If you hadn't left me alone with the reporter, I wouldn't have had the chance to arrange this little tete-a-tete. You think I'm gonna let you get away with it? Free her, or I swear I'll make you regret it. I'm afraid it's Miss Hernandez that we're soon going to regret. This was a pleasant conversation, McPherson, but I must leave you. I have a small job to do, and Miss Hernandez is getting impatient. Fucking bitch! If he gets in here, I'm dead. Hernandez needs help. Just postpone the inevitable, gorgeous. There's no door in the world that'll stop the East Coast killer. The phone. It seems to be working. McPherson? McPherson, do you hear me? Bernadette, I can't get to you. I'm trapped! I've managed to barricade the door, but I don't know how long it'll hold. Come quick! I'm going back to the control room. I'll try to find another way in. Hold on! Impossible! alive. He settled the score with Carson. Maybe everything's gonna be okay. A bullet to the head. How ironic. I'm listening. James, I have one point I want to clear up. How did you manage it, James? All the cops are dead. How were you able to escape the massacre? I'm a resourceful man, full of surprises. Carson tried to get me, but I always have the last word. Where are you, James? Still with Hernandez? I couldn't find you in the house. We're outside, by the electric fence. I almost got myself fried on this fucking thing. It was your gun that was used on Garrus. Is that an explanation? Ah, I see that you did your homework. Well done, partner. Congratulations. It's not possible. You? Did you kill Garrus? Oh, I did so much more than that. You should take a look at the cellar computer. See you soon. Are you sitting comfortably, Hernandez? Of course, this improvised set decoration must look pitiful to you compared to the 5 TV studio, but it suits your current look. Fucking asshole, let her go! 
Come on, Vic. I'm not always gonna do your work for you. You're the representative of law and order. It's up to you to free the poor victim. Cameras are still not working. Shit! The shelter's hatches are locked. Look well, Vic. A little panic attack? You're pathetic. How could I have trusted someone who allows herself to be overwhelmed by irrational fears? Hernandez is going to die, and it will be your fault. You failed. I've won. It doesn't really matter to me whether you burn or asphyxiate. Bye, Vic. I have to prepare the grand finale. behind your back. This time, it's over. if I stay here. Shit, the hidden door is locked again. sign I saw on the surveillance camera. Yeah, 
asshole took off. What was he up to here? I can't hear anything. This glass is soundproof. It's Hawker who's behind all this. He's locked himself in the next room. And he's armed. Don't panic, Hernandez. I'm on my way. I know this kind of device. It's a detector. been following my movements from the beginning, thanks to a tracking device planted in my smartphone. I could make use of this tracking device. Ventilation system should cover up the sound of my footsteps, but it won't be enough. I've got to divert Hawker's attention. I could put the electronic tracking device here. It's over, James. Put down your gun. I think I'll opt for an alternate course of action. Thank you. I'd like this to have a different ending. I just have to free Hernandez. It's Carson. Photographed by Hawker, I suppose. A checklist drawn up by Hawker. He anticipated almost everything. One thing's for sure, Hawker really had issues with me. I'll get you out of here. If you're hearing me, ladies, it's because I'm dead. It's very upsetting, really. But don't be sad. I'm not done with you. 
I'm a meticulous planner, and I don't like to lose. So I've prepared everything in case I can't join you for the finale. Vic, my dear partner, you betrayed me. Are you going to let Hernandez down too? It's an interesting dilemma. In a few minutes, five TV's most famous star will fly in an electric chair. Unless you, Vic, manage to prevent this unfortunate event. If you fail, the fun is over for her. Game is over. But Hernandez's death will unlock the hatches. You see, I'm not so bad. I'm giving you a way out. The cameras will carefully record everything that transpires, and the video will be broadcast live over the internet. Consider it a little homage to the East Coast killer's artistic work. He knew how to film suffering like no other. One last thing, Vic. No second chances. If this were a video game, I'd program it so that you couldn't go back and try again. Enough chit-chat. Get ready, ladies. It's your move. Did you hear me? You only have one chance to save me, McPherson. Only one chance. Okay, the dimmer's blocked. It should prevent the current intensity from going any higher. do I do? You know how to use a computer. Look on the console behind the glass. Maybe there's a hidden command or something. Okay, McPherson. We have to make it out of here. This is going to be such an amazing scoop a 5 TV exclusive. Oh, yeah. Where are my priorities? Move it, guys. I've already seen this type of lock. A receiver can be hooked to it. The outlet is different from the one I saw in the cellar. Oh man, looks like a bomb, and not a little one. The battery supplies an electrical circuit, which prevents the bomb from exploding. The tanks are marked with the symbols for Alpha and Omega. Beginning and the end. Another one of Hawker's crazy ideas. The liquids inside the tanks can't mix, or we'll have fireworks. This box seems to be linked to the countdown clock. It looks like a switch, placed to interrupt the power at a certain point. The bomb! It hasn't exploded! McPherson, we did it! Hey, 